Good morning, everybody. Happy new vlog day. Happy Thursday. Today is February 23rd. It's actually my brother's birthday Mommy, today. Yes. You had to talk I hit my head. Yes. So me and Reagan just had an incident, which I will explain. But I just finished making my coffee. I had my workout for this morning. Um, took a shower. Feeling good. Feeling refreshed. My shoulder is killing me. I did a very intense shoulder workout. But we, Reagan hit her head, kind of. So she was standing in the chair, which I tell her not to do because we were cleaning the table so she could play with Play-Doh and the chair tipped over and she fell. And she's fine now, but it was, it was a moment, that's for sure. So today and this weekend is pretty work filled. The only problem I'm currently running into right now um is well here okay so today is going to be mostly focused on getting the princess diaries orders out so i do need to label everything which shouldn't take too much time maybe like an hour hour and a half and then do those orders today i am going to go ahead and do those by myself because i did all the orders um last weekend by my by myself and it was totally easy i feel like yes it takes a lot of time but i feel better doing that because then brian is not like coming home from a 10 hour work day and having to do orders which we've all done, but like, it's nice. So we do 45 open orders, which I'm very excited about. Thank you guys so much for the support on the Princess Diaries collection. It was, I mean, <laughs> it's hard to say, but it was one of my faves. I I really love every, every single scent in there. So have to get labels on those, do those orders today. That's like main priority. And I do want to get started on the Wednesday scents, but here's my problem. So I ordered the fragrance oils on Sunday, completely forgetting that Monday was a federal holiday. So they didn't ship until Tuesday. Today's Thursday, so they're not really gonna get here until probably tomorrow things are gonna start coming in. So we're gonna work with what I got. Um, I do have to restock cereal and milk, so that's like easy. But we're gonna work with what I got. I think I can make... Mm. I might be able to make at least like a round of some of these because most of these are brand new. Like I think I can make one, maybe two of Poe Cup, which is Salty Sierra and Summer Scoop. One or two of those. Um, I think I can maybe make one or two of sh the Wolf Out, which is Strawberry Pound Cake and Cinnamon Rolls because I'm waiting on Strawberry Pound Cake. With the Poe Cup, I think I'm waiting on Salty Sierra, Strawberry Pound Cake, and then I might be able to do a round of the Weather Vane. I don't know if I have salted caramel but i think i might have a little bit of that the toasted mall and i definitely have espresso so like three of them i might be able to make like a round of so we'll do what i can today but it's mostly going to be a focused um orders day which is fine i do have to set like multiple alarms today because i need to one remember to get avery which i will remember but it's just i like to have that alarm set I have an alarm already set to pick giveaway winners for the 25,000 sales giveaway, which ends today. And then I'm going to set an alarm for one o'clock because I'm doing a crock pot meal today and I want Ugh. to, I'm going to set for 1 a.m. Um, start that at one. So set my alarms. Anything else I should chat with y'all about today? I don't think so. Oh, I also would like to finalize the pre-order list. Among Us. Among Us. That's really good, Reagan. Among Us. Very good. Can I show them? Yeah, it's among us. It's among us. Among us. Um, I would like to finalize the pre-order list us. today. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna try and do everything that I can can't possibly do without making wax. Does that make sense? I also need to edit the vlog. Eventually, get Reagan to nap. <laughs> Eventually, right? Mm -hmm. Eventually, the whole nine. So today's just gonna be a, a work day as usual. So, let's um. Just see what I can do. I'm gonna see what wax I can make. We'll get started with that.
angle's really terrible, so I apologize. But, and also Bluey is on in the background, so. What? Okay, I'll make you ramen in a second. This girl is needy. She literally just had breakfast. Okay, I'll make it one second. <laughs> anyway, so I'm about to start putting labels on all of the Princess Diary scents, and I just want to tell y'all, I absolutely 110% every time I go to start putting labels on a new scent, I have to smell it. This is the Queen Clarice scent. What is this? I think it's like strawberry jam, vanilla pound cake, and something else. Cream cheese frosting. I essentially tried to make like a strawberry cake. Every time. I always have to smell them. They just smell so dang good. And I just don't know what it is about the color of this cake. I just washed my hands, so just so you guys know. Well, here. Actually, I won't touch this one. I'll touch the um, ones that are mine. In case you also didn't know, I keep the like crappy ones. So, for example, with the cakes, these I have two, which is awesome. But it's because they're so thin compared to like an actual like sellable one but anyway i just mine also has a goof in it so that's fine but um i just love the colors of these they're so pretty so this smells amazing i have to smell every single one apparently i need to make her ramen at 10 in the morning <sighs> she's waiting till lunchtime i'm forcing that on her but yeah so i'm gonna do these labels i did the first round of i did um the po cup i did all of the round of po cup i can't do any more till salty sea air comes in because i used up all my salty sea air and i did one of wolf out i need to do another one um and then i can do two of the weather vein and then that's literally it i have to wait for fragrance oil to come in so today is definitely going to be a packing orders kind of day because that's pretty much all i can do and i think i'm gonna do some like cleaning and stuff because like i like to stay productive so we'll get to that I freaking love Bluey. Les comes back this Saturday and I am just so excited. Like, I love I love the sport of soccer. I love Dortmund. I have a mad love for the men's national team. Loved watching the World Cup. Champions League is really fun. But there is just something about Austin that has like grips on my heart. And it just I just love this stupid team so much. And it like makes me almost emotional because like these i just gosh, love it so, much. so i'm so except expect i'm so excited for mls to come back and austin's first game is saturday i mean as is i think everybody's i think there's like four people that play sunday but for the most part austin plays saturday now i am not trying to I am trying to go, but I'm not like actively trying because tickets for this game are stupid expensive. I get it. It's the first game. It's the first home game. We love our team, but Austin's tickets are always expensive. No matter what, we could be playing in the freezing cold snow, playing Montreal. Well, I mean, anybody. We could be literally be playing anybody. I don't know why I said Montreal. We could literally be playing anybody and the tickets are dumb expensive. So I'm not actively trying to get tickets because like whatever but i am kind of keeping my eyes on them just because like usually day of people are like i want to get rid of my tickets so they're like just listing them for like whoever will buy them and right now i've been checking them daily i'm gonna screen record and i'm gonna show you guys that it's just freaking austin because this is so annoying so austin's tickets are through SeatGeek. So let's see, St. Louis, oh, $90 is the cheapest. So I'm going for two tickets because I would go with Brian. $90 for standing room only, okay? Now, if I go over here to the general admission supporter, that is also standing room only, 131 a ticket. You've gotta be high, like that's just ridiculous. So right now the tickets are still pretty pricey. Um, I personally don't like sitting in the upper deck because I'm 800 years old and I get vertigo and once I sit down I am not moving from my seat because I'll throw up so I prefer to be in the lower sections which I know is a personal problem but they're still $113 a pop plus you know like it's $113 a pop so it's like 200 and some for me and Brian plus the ticket fee plus whatever taxes it's so stupid look at this Chevron Corner Community 2A 121 each like I'm not standing here we go, section 122, row 14, that's a good deal. 126, not great. So here's my my thing. So I'm gonna look at um, FC Dallas tickets. They go through um, Axis. This Saturday is the 25th. 
Yes. So they're playing at home. They're playing Minnesota United. And Dallas is also a good team. So let's find some tickets for me and Brian to, if we potentially want to go to this Dallas game. <sighs> cool. So let's see. I don't care. So let's see. This is a little bit different. I don't like this app. I like to sit at a lower section. So we'll just grab 128. It looks like these two tickets right here are available. 50 bucks a piece. Why? Why is Austin so expensive? It just doesn't make any sense. So I'm just, like I said, I'm going to keep my eye um, on those and figure that one out. But yeah, I'm just a little bit, a little testy about that. But like I said, I'm not actively trying. We do, I do have plans to do like an appetizer night and we're going to enjoy our day and stuff. But man, would it be so good to be there? And uh, I just love this stupid team. So I just wanted to share that with you. I need to go pour now. BRB. Okay, so we're about 15 minutes out from when my giveaway is supposed to end. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the wheelofnames.com, which is just a random wheel generator. Oh my god, it still has everybody's names. I was like, I recognize these names from last time I did this. There's a lot of people. So I'm going to start with Instagram, and then I'm going to do Facebook. There's 72 comments. I didn't even realize that. But also as I'm going through... I am going to kind of take a peek because I asked a question to comment your favorite scent or scent blend that we've done recently and that's going to help me kind of with the pre-order. So far I have like 20 cents. I would like to have 25 and I think I can get 25 also with the, some of the Wednesday collection. Um, but most of the scents I've gotten from just knowing that they've sold out quickly, um, people mentioning that they love them in videos or on the Facebook group or in posts or DMing or anything like that, even just reviews on Etsy. So... Yes, but I'm also just going to kind of take a gander as I do this. I'm going to fill out this wheel of names. This one's going to take me a minute, and we're going to do Instagram first, and then I'm going to do Facebook. I'm very excited. Okay, so I have the wheel for Instagram. I'm going to record me, but I'm also going to record it on my phone so I can post it on Instagram stories. So hold on, let me get it. video. Good. And... Nice. And let me take a picture. Okay, so that's the first one. Brit Plans won that one, so I'll remove her. And then I'll do the next one. And I'll take a picture of this one. This is the Reading Mind. Okay, so I have Instagram. Now I have to do Facebook. So let me post these. Actually, let me go on Etsy quick and make their codes for the $25 coupon or code. I can't speak. And then I'll do that. Post those on Instagram and then I'll work on the Facebook ones. Okay, and now we're doing Facebook. So, oh my God, I forgot how close the video is. So let's see. That sound is so fun. Lily and Kim. Okay, let me just take pictures for Facebook. I don't think I need to be. Okay, and then remove her. And then let's see who the next one is for Facebook. There's a lot of people. And Sophia Graham. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make those now and then message everybody. So that's done, which is exciting. Okie dokie, so I'm here now to make dinner in the crock pot. This is the only new to me recipe for the weekend. Well, to be fair, Saturday is all going to be kind of like new-ish, but it's like freezer food. Like it's very simple. So um, I'm doing a crock pot meal. As you guys know, I love crock pot meals. I'm going to try and do one at least once a week because I feel like it just, it's so nice. And I do have the crock pot liners, but after I used it with the like chicken and dumplings, I did not quite like it. She is about like, she's tired. So she's being a nuisance right now. <laughs> but anyway, I found of course this recipe on TikTok. Seems incredibly easy. So I'm actually gonna grab salt and pepper real quick and I think they just use salt and pepper but I'm gonna grab another seasoning too um 
yes but i'm gonna go ahead and get started so basically all you need are some carrots an onion potatoes chicken cream of chicken ranch and then seasonings of your choice so i'm gonna get started by cutting up the onion i'm not gonna cut the the potatoes the potatoes the carrots and i'm not gonna actually i'm hello i might cut the potatoes in half um, they do need to get washed. I might cut them in half, but I'm not going to cut them too much. So I'm going to do all this cutting real quick, and then I'll show you, like, I'm going to cut the onion, put it in, so then you'll just see everything being cut. I don't know. You'll see. Just see. if that's enough potatoes i did do the entire bag of carrots like the onions underneath and i did the carrots here's the potatoes this is what i have left i'm like do i just try i think i'm just gonna chop up the rest of them honestly and put those in but then i'll show you guys what i'm gonna do next you guys are in like a very dangerous position right now <laughs> but i'm just gonna do this really quick so i'm getting the chicken in i'm just gonna layer it right on top and then wash my hands oh i hate that for me i'm gonna wash my hands after this I'm actually gonna season the chicken. We'll wash my hands and then season the chicken. All right, let's go ahead and season this. Um, still have not, oh God, my hands are kind of wet still. Put the salt in like a shake or anything yet. So, oh my God, I need more of that. We are salt in the absolute, not that much salt, obviously. I'm not trying to absolutely clog our arteries, but thank you, I'll be there in one second. Okay, so that's the salt. Do some pepper. Pepper. Yeah. That's pepper. Okay, Reagan. <laughs> and then what else do I want to put on here? Maybe some onion powder and Italian? Sure. Let's do onion powder and Italian. Actually, before I do the Italian, yeah, it's not gonna do Italian. I'm gonna do onion powder. And then I'm gonna do this onion powder, garlic yeah. herb, Disgusting. black pepper, sea salt. Just a little tiny bit of that. There that's we go. a spice. All right, that's good. Next, I'm gonna move ya. Next in a bowl, I'm gonna grab a spoon. Um, I'm gonna put the cream of chicken. Why didn't I take that off? Maybe I just leave the trash can open. I don't, I, I usually leave the trash can open, but for some reason, like, I just, today I've just been closing it. Let's get this cream of chicken out. Okay, I'll be there. I'm almost done, okay? And then she, like, desperately needs a nap, so I'm trying to get through this as quick as possible. And then we're going to put some of the ranch seasoning in this. So this is very similar, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, to um, like the first, is this a lot ranch? The first ever crock pot meal I ever like really made and, and enjoyed, I'll say, and enjoyed, which is like an Italian version of this, but like no veggies. Maybe I will do veggies next time. But it's like Italian seasoning, cream of chicken, cream cheese. It's very good. Okay, and then we're gonna layer this on top of the chicken, which you can't see right now. 
Okay, so it's, it is layered on the chicken. There is like a tiny bit left in here that I'm gonna try and get in to this. I'm gonna spread it around a little bit. There's no other um, like chicken stock or they didn't show water or anything. So I'm like, I'm hoping this is good. We will see. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this, grab my lid, and put this on high for five hours. So, okay, Google, set timer for five hours. Alrighty, we are in my office now. I don't know why this, like, it's like a scar now. Or not a scar, it's like a scab. Anyway, so, Reagan is asleep. I finally got her to nap. I was able to read a chapter, or not, not a chapter, a husband. Um, I'm reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, and... Yeah, it might be my favorite book I've read this year so far. I, I can't stop thinking about it. It's very good. Um, I'll talk more about it later. It's just so good. But Reagan is napping, which is great, but I have about 20 minutes until Avery is out of school. So I was going to film the base of my plan with me today, but you know what? I think what I'm going to do is just continue to edit my vlog today and make sure I get that fully done today and rendering. And then I'll focus on filming and stuff tomorrow. So I only have about less than 20 minutes now, so I'm going to get back to work on this. And... Um, it's not typing you know uh, check in with you later i can't wait for everybody to get home i have missed her today she this morning we discovered that she has a hole in her shoes she well first of all her shoes like her feet grow so fast but um we've been noticing she just like she's rough on her shoes which obviously she's a kid but there's a lot of wear and tear but there is a hole in them so we need to go get her new shoes this weekend so that was funny but i can't wait to see her she's been just a turd this past few days and I'm just ready to see her so I'm gonna do this and um, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit so I'm almost done editing them on Sunday now and as y'all most of y'all know my Sundays tend to be pretty short so it's a pretty short one Avery's home which is awesome it's almost 3 30 so I'm thinking I'm going to not make another round of wax today I have one more scent I could do the weather vein just not the whole thing just like one round because like I said I'm out of all of my fragrance oils and like I'm waiting for them to come in but I'm gonna pause and do that one in the morning because I want to get started on orders ASAP so I'm gonna go downstairs after this and just start the order prep process which I'm looking forward to so I'm going to do that but yeah I just wanted to update you guys on that and chilling I'm tired hopefully Reagan sleeps for at least another hour I think that would be beneficial for her and for all of us and um, yeah, I'm almost done editing this video and I'm happy about it. Alrighty, so we are getting started with orders now. It smells pretty good. I'm like still a little bit concerned. I'm talking about the crock pot, sorry. I'm still a little bit concerned about the lack of like liquid that went in there. But maybe it's okay. I don't know. So I'm getting started with my to pool list as per usual it shouldn't be too intense as the only really things available were the princess diaries i think there's one let's blend scent still available and then core scents um like i said there's 45 open orders which i'm very excited about and i'm only going to write down the stuff that i need to actually pull does that make sense like the stuff that like core scents and stuff versus the new scents i like to keep a new scents spread out so making my to pull list now and then after that i am going to i feel like you guys have seen me do invoices a million times so i'm not going to show you that i'm going to print labels and then i'm going to set up this sorry our water thing just kicked on i'm going to set up the go section brian said he's off at six it is four o'clock now it was napping right in front of me i'm trying to not be quiet because like she shouldn't be napping but at the same time like she's tired so she's allowed to sleep um yeah, you guys have seen me do that a million times. So I'll set everything up and then we'll do some orders together. I haven't uploaded. So the vlog I just edited is the first time I like actually talk through pulling orders with you guys. So that'll go up um, for, or not tomorrow, uh, in two days, Saturday for me. So I don't know how well you guys like that yet. Um, I know I did it in the last vlog last weekend, which again hasn't even been edited. But I'm going to do it this weekend. If you guys like it, let me know. If not, I don't have to do it. It's totally fine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do all the like paperwork side of orders and then... Um, We'll get started on it. I'm pretty excited about doing these today. Okay, we are ready to do orders. Oh, this is like not in a position. <sighs> I set everything up. I had to go out into the garage and move a lot of things around because I needed to find my more priority mailers. So I'm sorry that I'm like very out of breath. But we're gonna get started. So the first order 
that we have the first order of the new release is from bethany so thank you bethany she's from south carolina 10 items i'm gonna go grab everything i think everything yes is a princess diary scent so i'm gonna go grab everything and then we'll go through what bethany got so i'm pretty excited about that i have everything in my arms okay so she got both of the snap bars palo's makeover and catch a falling star which oh, she's so beautiful she got stupid cupid which is seriously i'm gonna smell it bethany i apologize i don't apologize oh my god it is pretzel sugar cookie royale and um strawberry and it's amazing princess mia princess lessons the stang and fat louis genovia queen clarice and shut up which i'm very excited about so i'm going to package all of it in my bubble bags because that's how i try my hardest to keep everything safe and secure so we'll pack these up the kids have moved upstairs i think they're both awake but they should be awake but we who knows um let's do the part so I think I already told you guys what my two, I told you last week and what my two um, freebies were. So this first one's gonna be Flapjacks, which is like a pancake scent. And the more it has sat over this week, the more like, oh, so good it smells. I can't wait for people to smell that one. I think they're really going to enjoy that one. And then let's go ahead and get this one bagged up. I might be able, I'm not going to test that, that theory. The other one is apple cinnamon. We have done apple cinnamon streusel. This one is a little bit more straightforward apple cinnamon because one of the Wednesday scents has apple cinnamon in it. And I know y'all are going to love it. So I realized that we still have some apple streusel um, freebies going around. So I do, I do apologize um, if you get both of those, but hey, that's great. And then she's going to get a third freebie. Um, we'll, mm, cherry cookies is in her order so let's throw in a zucchini bread classic you can toss it in and blend it with anything you have like you could seriously like break off a piece of any of your snap bars like the buttery uh buttery caramel and pretzel you could use this snap off a piece put a piece of zucchini bread in there and it would be fire flames so we are going to package this one up um give me a second because i need to get bins and stuff to put these in Okay, so I have a bin, but um, the post office guy also left the big bag. So I'm going to start with the bins and then transfer it to the bags. Is that stupid? Maybe, probably, now that I'm thinking about it. But at the same time, I think that's what I'm going to do. So Bethany's is away and done and ready to go. Oh, I forgot to schedule a pickup. I have till 3 a.m. I'll schedule when I'm done. Next up, we have Rebecca's order. Um, she is from Virginia, and she got eight things. So I'm going to go grab all of those. Okay, so she also got both snap bars, Princess Lessons, Stupid Cupid, Queen Clarice, Shut Up, Fat Louie, and Princess Mia. So let's go ahead and bundle hers up. Like I said last week or two weeks ago, where I don't even, honestly, time is just a construct. I don't know. Um, concept, construct, same thing. Anywho, <laughs> no it's not. Um... I'm not going to do every single order with you guys because that would take so much time and I would like to get, you know, the majority of these done, but I will try my hardest to get, um, as many, let me get some of this air out, as many of these orders, or like, I'm going to do the first three with you and then maybe I'll come back and do like the last three. Maybe that could be fun. Um, we shall see. She is going to also get a, I mean, I try and get all of the, um, new freebies used first. So she is also going to get a flapjacks and or flat jack one jack and an apple cinnamon so also these bags are so big for the queen clarice scent when i run out of this size i actually i'm never gonna run out of this size because i use it for other things um i am gonna pare down and find a better size bag for that it i know it's quite large i need to figure that one out and let's throw a that's cherry cookies and apple cinnamon in okay so can we close you up? Pack that one. And then she's getting a priority mailer. I like to put the, um, hello, the shipping label on the mailer first because it's easier. I'm just going to do that real quick. 
and then we will package up her order. Oh, I have a little friend. Um, my kids are squealing, so they're definitely awake, which is good. And Brian is off in an hour, so about an hour and a half, an hour 45 till he gets home. Okay, Google show timer. You've got one hour, 28 minutes, Look at that. and 47 seconds remaining. I timed that. Thank you. I timed that so well. You also always need to thank your electronics. You never know what's going to happen. Um, okay. Let's put a little sticker on there. Ready to go. Next, last order I'm doing with you guys. Oh, I didn't put her invoice in. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rebecca. I don't want to open your package, though. I hate when that happens. Last order I'm gonna do with you guys. That happens like more often than I'd like to admit. I'm gonna do is Stephanie. She is from MD. I think that's Maryland. So she has six things. One of those being pretzel, which is awesome. Pretzel and pumpkin pecan waffles. So two core scents. These are both bomb bangers. Obviously, that's why I keep them as core scents because they're super good. So then I'm gonna go get the other four items. So let me take this with me so I don't forget. I feel so bad, Rebecca. I'm so sorry if you're watching this video and you don't have your invoice and you need it or something. I just feel so bad. Um, okay, so six items. So she also got Stupid Cupid, Genovia, and then the two chunk bags, which are the Stang and Fat Louie. Fat Louie is like honestly so good to me. It's just getting better and better with time. Like seriously, it's so good. Actually, yeah, let's package these two up first in here because these two can stack really nicely. That's kind of why I'm really looking forward to the Wednesday release because <laughs> um, the chunk bag stacks so nicely. <laughs> okay, so let's put that in here. If you're gonna get a flat jacks and then I'll do your stupid cupid separately and you can get an additional freebie. We'll do apple cinnamon duh that's why i think the first three orders are fun to watch and then the last three because by the last three you guys i'm gonna probably be very out of actually I shouldn't be too out of my freebies but who knows i might be i'm gonna go ahead and put her label on first she also has a, a flat rate mailer oh almost ripped it let's be gentle And then we'll toss these in as well. And we will not forget your invoice, Stephanie, I promise. The next one we have to do is Morgan's from Georgia, and I think she's a box, so that'll be fun. But I'm gonna let you guys go after this one. I feel like today's vlog portion is going to be a long one, because I just can't stop talking today, and also I'm just doing a lot. So, here's Stephanie's in the bin. I'll check in with you guys on the last few. Okay, a nice little LOL toy right here. I did not show you the last few orders just because, here, I'm gonna go over here because I wanna show uh, addresses. Uh, just because I was in the groove, but I have two full bags here and then all those boxes that are gonna get picked up tomorrow. I'm gonna go schedule the post office pickup now. Ray is up here and Reagan is right here. And then there is the crock pot meal. I mean, it smells good. We will see, you know, I don't know. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. It's 9.30 in the morning. I have some makeup on today. I was feeling very like meh this morning. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put makeup on and just a little bit and I feel 10 times better. It's crazy the amount of confidence that just a little bit of just colorful product on your face, mud feels. But yes, so I had a great workout this morning. My arms feel like jello, but that's just the way it is. While I was putting on makeup, I remembered that I had an Ulta gift card from Andrea for my birthday. So I did go on to Ulta and I haven't, <laughs> I haven't ordered from Ulta since March of 2021. So that was really fun to look at my order history. Um, I also, here's the thing, I wanna get back into makeup, like not necessarily like purchasing it the way I used to, but like wearing it more often, but I feel like that would encourage me to purchase it more, but makeup is expensive. And I feel like I have so many like, not necessarily expensive, but like expensive hobbies. I can't be get back into makeup. <laughs> but I did place an Ulta order today and I'm really excited. I got three things that I have used before and three things that I haven't and I'm really happy. And then those should be here Sunday, it said. 
says Sunday. Oh no, my camera is finally dying. I was wondering when the battery was gonna be low. Let me get a new battery and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I got my new battery and I figured I would chat with you guys up here just for a change of scenery and also just because I'm too tired to go back downstairs. I'm very lazy. My legs are on fire today. But yeah, so last night's dinner was pretty good. I think, I wish I would have made like crescent rolls with it. I think it would have added something to it. It was very good. Um, would I make it again? Probably, honestly. But I'm glad to have continued to find good crock pot recipes because I would like to have more than just like two that we rotate through because then I can make one once a week. So it's also funny because I realized tonight's dinner is also like a chicken and potato combo. So love that for me. But yeah, so I am going to make a round of the weather vane today because I have some of the fragrance oil for that. I think after I make this round, I'm going to be out of salted caramel and toasted mallow, but those should be coming hopefully today. I saw that I have two packages coming to the mailbox today. I'm hoping both of those are two fragrance oil packages. I have two more on the way. One says it'll be here tomorrow and one says it'll be here Sunday, which is kind of unfortunate, but also it's nice because it does give me time to do other stuff, I guess. I don't really know. Um... <laughs> So I really can only make like one round of wax today, but that's cool. I think I'm going to focus mostly today on organizing and cleaning up this office because I've been putting it off for a really long time. I want to redo my shelves, kind of. Um, I need to clean my desk. I don't know how well you can see it, but it is quite a mess back there. I also have a lot of stuff on the floor that I would like to like boxes and stuff I would like to break down and put away and put in the trash and I want to organize my fantasy wax melts like bin because it's just a mess as you guys probably saw in a vlog or a couple vlogs ago so I just have some stuff I want to do up here and like I do want to do some cleaning around the house I already started laundry for the weekend because tomorrow is soccer Saturday and although I probably will also be making wax in between games and such I don't want to have to focus on laundry and then I also have the dishwasher going just because it needs to go anyway It's just a chore. But yeah, I think I'm gonna focus on doing chores and cleaning and stuff today um, YouTube for sure want to maybe film some videos We'll see how Reagan does because it is mostly just gonna be me and Reagan today Avery is going to a friend's house after school for a longer play date because it's not a school night um, She <laughs> has been trying to go after school like every day this week and I'm like sis It's a school night. You can only go maybe for an hour if that um, so she can go for a longer play date today, I said. So I'm excited for her. And so it's just mostly going to be me and Reagan today. And Reagan is very clingy. She's already sitting downstairs in my chair waiting for me to come back. So I'm sure she's going to be in here helping me organize this office. But that's kind of the game plan for today. I would like to get, you know, like I said, some videos done. I have my vlog ready to go. I just need to upload it. And... Maybe I'll read a lot more. I am almost done with The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And then I think I'm going to read a fantasy book next. I haven't read a lot of fantasy this year. I know it's only February, but um, I think I'm going to read Legends and Lattes next. I'm interested in it. And it's a shorter read, so I think I can get through it pretty quickly. But yes, so I don't know. It's kind of the game plan for today. And we'll see where the wind takes us. Riggy was very upset that I didn't vlog her, so she wants to say hi. She has a little bit of tears, but that's okay. Who's on your shirt today? The witches. The witches? Do you like that shirt? Mm-hmm. Anything else you want to tell the vlog? Yeah. Okay, what do you want to tell them? I want to tell them Play-Doh. You were playing with Play-Doh? Yeah, Play-Doh. Cute. Play-Doh. Is that everything? No. We're just doing work. We're just doing work. Work is all good. And Daddy and Mary are Mary's in school and Daddy's at work. Mm -hmm. Is it just Mommy and Reagan today? Yeah. So I'm trying to look at pictures. You want to look at pictures? Yeah. Okay, say bye vlog. Bye vlog. I'm sitting here. I have a pizza, like a party pizza, once again, in the oven. She curls up next to me and I was like, hey, let's eat lunch. She already had her lunch. She had um, ABC mini chef Boyardee. And I was like, I'm gonna eat my lunch and then we can go upstairs and we'll lay in bed. I'll read, you can take a nap. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She came up, she's sitting with me. I'm watching a YouTube video while I wait. Miss was tired. So, um, looks like she's napping downstairs today and um, maybe I'll put her in the bed. 
I don't know. I still haven't really done much at all, you guys. I had to update my computer and it took forever. The post office guy came and took the packages and while it was updating, not kidding you, I just sat here and played on my phone. I made that scent, the weather vane, smells incredible. But yeah, I just played on my phone, so sorry. But now I'm just watching a video and I'm waiting for my parrot party pizza to be done. Okay, we gotta go. Alrighty, so I just came upstairs to full laundry. I have been so incredibly lazy these past um, a few hours like you give me one day to like not really be as productive as normal and I'm like you know what <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything but that's gotta change because I do want to organize my office however I do think so I'm up here folding a load of laundry I do think after this Reagan is asleep on the couch I might film the base of my plan with me I think that might be in my best interests and then start organizing if she's i mean even if she's awake she can be awake for that so yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do next so i'm gonna do this and then film the base of a plan with me which i'm very excited for it's like my last plan with me of 2022 um which you know but i'm very excited for it so that's kind of the plan currently um Actually, I'm kind of like, I'm happy she went to sleep early, but I'm also kind of sad because I was looking forward to reading, but I can always read um, tonight. I think I have two husbands left or three husbands left of Evelyn and Hugo. Obsessed with it. So I'm going to keep doing this. All right. So the lights and stuff are on. So that way it's a little bit more, you guys are slowly sliding lit in here, lit, get it? um yeah i just i just finished filming the base of my plan with me which was oh my god it's so beautiful it's the noel spread <sighs> probably my favorite base i've done so far so currently my plans are as follows i'm not quite going to work on my desk yet the only thing is like i know my desk will only take me like five ten minutes maybe 20 max but i'm just being kind of lazy about it and that's just a personal problem but i'm gonna focus with the floor on the floor first it's just a bunch of box. There's like three boxes. This big old bin here of fantasy wax wax that I need to figure out. Why does this look like this? Mm, that smells amazing. Um, that I need to reassess. I don't know if I'm gonna do wax today. I kind of want to. My fantasy wax stuff that needs to get moved over there, but I also need to. It's just a process. So I'm gonna start by breaking down these boxes and taking the peanuts. I'm gonna take the peanuts from this bewitching wax because they're hearts and they're so cute but i need to break down these boxes get a nice little pile of trash going and then my main focus for today is to get this bookshelf situated because i not that i necessarily need space i gotta get reagan brb but i want it different position same room two hours later um reagan started crying and wanted to cuddle i'm fine with so you can see my mess um, so I cuddled with her in bed and then Avery's play date unfortunately fell through. So she's home and screaming. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So I think today I'm mostly just going to focus on the bookshelf because it's hot in here and I could change, but that's a me problem. I said this last vlog, this entire shelf is going to get rearranged. Um... These three right now are going to stay the same. I'll go over them briefly with you guys. This is just the way I have my books organized. So far, just nonfiction, which I might actually end up moving this one as well. And then it's fantasy, romance, romance, like mystery kind of, thriller, one horror. The horror continues here. I have the Fear Street collection and then my book of the month stuff here. On this shelf, I have all of my foil. So these don't stand up. That's upside down. Um, these are all separated. So I did this, God, I did this uh, when I wasn't vlogging the week of the winter storm. So these are all separated by type. So this is like confetti and new confetti. And then like there's like twinkle and everything. And then this is just like random. And then I have extra albums. So I think I'm going to move all of these albums to my bar cart, which is right next to my desk. And I think that will clear this shelf, which is perfect. I'm going to leave this shelf alone. 
So I'm gonna move these and then we'll keep going. Okay, bar cart is assembled. So up top I have this binder has like a bunch of foil. My kit lineup is in here. And then I moved these into here. I keep the confetti one up front just because I love those new confetti bundles. And then down here I have all the old SPC albums with a bunch of other foil bits in there. So this bar cart has officially been cleared off before these two shelves covered in just random planner stuff that I just don't even use anymore and there was no point in having it. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and kind of just redo this entire, I'm sweating, top shelf. I still wanna display this and I don't really know, do I wanna display the 90s slime? Not really, what is all this, hold on. Um, this is money, fake money from Vegas from the Magic Mike show. I was like, what is that? This is a card, I think, like a personalized one that I got from Romina, I believe. Yeah, and she's a sweet girl, so I like to keep, I don't know why that was up there, but I'll keep that here. I don't, oh, Amazon bookstore stuff. So these can get moved. I'm gonna put them on my messy desk for now, not the Amazon bookstore stuff, um, because those can eventually get figured out. This cup of pens can go down here with the other pens. Um, so I'm going to mostly move all my true crime books to the top of my closet. So I have, I haven't even read any of these, I don't think. This is actually, I didn't realize this is paperback. This is huge. Um, this is the Richard Ramirez Night Stalker. Um, the Axeman of New Orleans. I was really interested, autograph copy. What else did I buy? My Barnes & Noble receipts in here. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. This was, um, does it say the date on it? Mm -mm. Yes, it does. March 31st, 2019. I bought The Very Hungry Caterpillar, The Axeman, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, oh, the um, Illustrated Edition, and two Hatchimals for Avery. Anyway, put that in there. This one, I really actually want to read. This is All Be Gone in the Dark. This is by Michelle McNamara about That's the Golden State Killer. Um, this one's another one I really want to read. This is Who Killed These Girls. This is about the yogurt shop murders in Austin, but I don't know if I'm ready to read that yet. I have The Stranger Beside Me by Ann Rule. It's about Ted Bundy. And then this isn't, um, is this? No, but this is the Amityville Horror. I think this is just the book. This is small. It's only, that's the afterword, 305 pages and like, the writing is teeny. Should I just kind of do that? And save it for like October? Maybe. Um, so these are definitely going to get moved. So I'm going to move these to the top of my closet now. I said this before, but my closet is going to be something that I mess with later. Because I just don't. Like it's a, it's a problem. These two books are by Chuck Palahniuk. Damned and Doomed. I love the covers. I love the covers. I love everything about. These are so dope looking. Maybe I'll reread them, but I'm telling you, this book was okay. This book was just, I don't know what I was reading. I'll keep those put in my closet. Um, this is Disney Hocus Pocus. Oh my God, it's good crap me. And the sequel, I'll also put that in my closet. Technically, I think both of these were Brian's. I mean, this one's definitely Brian's. And then Toddlers Are Assholes. Put that there. And then I have Jillian or Gillian Flynn's Gone Girl in my stack. This is Sharp Objects. I don't know if I really want to read that yet. And then Scary Stories Tell in the Dark also. So this is all just going to go in the closet for now. I'll keep the Quinta Brunson book out because I just got it. But yeah, I don't really want these like out and like displayed right now. So then I was thinking, I'm going to make this top shelf my Stephen King shelf. My Stephen King shelf is technically right here. But I think I'm going to move it. So hold on, I'll move you guys with me. Not sure if this is the best idea. You're resting on my Peloton seat, but like... Cool, so my Stephen King stuff's down here. I have it displayed with the Funko Pop of Georgie and Pennywise. And I love like the water, it's very cool. Um, so I'm gonna, I have Salem's Lot displayed because this is, out of all the Stephen King books I've read so far, this is my favorite. I've read it, it was amazing. There are some that I haven't read that maybe I should add to my stack, but also I'd rather not right now. The I do have Fairy Tale in my stack, but I'll wait. So I have read, and I'm going to move all these up as I talk about them. I have read The Outsider. We This is also a show on HBO. Um, it's really good. 
quite liked that one. Um, I have not read this one yet. It is also a show, but it's a big one. I mean, to be fair, most of these are big. This is like 900 pages. This is 112263. Uh, oh God, I do want to read all of these eventually, but you know. Um, I haven't read this one. A little bit nervous about it. The Stand. This is a big boy too. It's kind of the text is so small and it looks like it is 1,150 pages. So, you know, and it's about a pandemic. So that's gonna be something that happens later in life. I have read it though. I have read this one. It took me like three months to read it. This one's also like 1,200 pages. It's a good book, it's pretty. Um, I just read Pet Cemetery in October. It was all good. And then I have two other ones that I got at Half Price Books forever ago that I have not read. I have Gerald's Game, which I want to read, and Needful Things, which I also want to read. But I'll put those up here. I'll put the Salem, the Salem slot. Oh, I hate when books do this. When they like, when you open it and it creases on the spine. That's my one of my biggest pet peeves. I'll put those there and then I will display this. I need to get more Stephen King books. So I like that a little bit more put this down here yes um I like that a little bit better so then Stephen King's up here and it's actually books that I want to display so now I have an open section down here which is where I think I'm going to put my planners so let me go do that all right so now we're sitting down um this shelf is going to remain empty because I think eventually it'll fill up um I just wanted to have some empty space and it made me feel a little bit better to kind of be able to actually display Salem's Lot. If you haven't seen these shelves, so this one, I have a picture here. It's supposed to be me. This is my uh, dedicated Lord of the Rings section. I have too many for no apparent reason. Brian got me this. I have The Hobbit. And then we have this. And we have the leather bound downstairs. I also have two Harry Potter like books back here. Cursed Child and Fantastic Beast. Then here's a stack of like children's books because I wasn't sure where I wanted to put those yet. And then my Bridgerton collection displaying the Duke and I. Don't look at that section. It is just absolutely, I don't know what to do with it yet. But we have all my planners, um, which I wanted to, oh crap, hold on. Which I wanted to display. Oh, my phone's dying. Hello? Weird. Um, I have a lot of planners apparently. I totally forgot about them. But I wanted to display them and I don't even know if this space is going to be big enough. So my first planner ever was a plum paper. Let's look at my first spread. You know, I was pregnant with Avery when I got this. I have a lot of information in here that I probably shouldn't have wrote in a planner, but I did. It's my first ever spread. Hold on, let me make sure there's nothing in here that like... This is when I sold Sensi. So in case you were ever curious about how much your girl likes wax melts. Um, I don't know what half of this information means. But here... This is too funny. I put a lot of info in here. These spreads are super ugly. So this is the year we moved to Austin. So let's look at the May spreads because that's when I moved. Um, da -da 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 -da. I moved, oh, I think we moved this week because I didn't put literally anything in here. My headers read today, YouTube and school. I was in college at that time. And then this is, yeah, this is the, definitely the week we were here. Cut, 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 SPC. How cute is that, my little SPC stickers? Oh my god. Avery was born in Feb, hold on. Avery's here. Look at that one. Yeah, um, anyway, so that's my first ever planner. We'll put that right there. And then I think my next one was an Erin Condren, so that would have been 2015. This should be 2016. Yes, ma'am. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a lot. Um, oh my god, these kids are so old, but like, so, oh my god, this is nuts. So, okay, so that's 2016. And then is this 2017? Oh, look at these. That's so cute. This is 2018. This is 2017. Oh, this one's pretty. We got married in 2016. I just realized that because this says uh, Kirsten Krasinski on it. Oh my god, these are so beautiful. Wait, I love these spreads. These are so pretty. I want to see Avery's birthday. Hold on, I just like looking at like Avery's birthday stuff. Wait, where is it? Oh, I forgot all about this kit. 
it's like very princessy this is like almost kind of how i plan now almost anyway that's 2017 i should do a planner graveyard video let me know if you'd like to see that and this is 2018 once again i would like to look at avery's birthday spread oh my gosh this is all <gasps> this is foily i talk about this art i think a lot this like kittenish dress art it's so pretty so pretty here's avery's birthday right yeah wait these date numbers though super cute they're hearts it's avery's birthday spread so cute i want to see my birthday spread now hold on oh yeah it was the the grinch grinch miss kit this is so cute and like very foily is this the first time i was using bougie boxes yeah i started using bougie boxes this year how exciting 2018 and then i think this is 2019 oh wait this is 2016 2017 huh What is this? 2015, 2016. What the hell? Girl. Did I have multiple planners? I don't know. Okay, well, we'll just uh, shove that in there, I guess. I'll do that that way. And then that's when I moved to the cloud. Oh my god. Andrea decorated this one for me. It's so pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Um, oh, let's look at. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is the spread when we moved into the house. Obsessed. Okay, um, I'll stop now. And I'll put this one in here. It's gonna be jingly jangly. And then I'm gonna put the other two. So this is when I split them into two planners. I think this is January. No, this is August. So this pink should be January. Yeah. So pretty. I like to look at I'm gonna look at Avery's spread. Oh my god, I feel like I just this was last this was 2021, so I use control alt delete I think yeah for Avery's birthday you're not gonna be able to see anything I'm literally just showing you to show you so this one will go in here and then obviously my 2022 planners are look how pretty this is dang near done now so I can dang near done um so I can put those away these are so pretty and I had fantasy wax ah I love this for me okay so I'm going to shove these in here actually super happy with how this looks and then i'll just display my 20 20 22 planners like right here maybe yeah so that's probably all the organizing i'm gonna do today <laughs> proud of myself though Alrighty, so we're about 10 minutes away from brian being off of work and then of course he has to commute home regan's watching tots right now it's a disney plus show or disney show it's very cute um, I'm just gonna start cooking now because I'm starving. I am making the exact same recipe that I made the first time, first time? The first time, the first recipe that I tried to make, uh, which was a TikTok recipe. It's like the buffalo wild wings, garlic parm, chicken and cheesy chicken and potatoes. Super easy. I'm really tired if you can't tell. Um, I'm really beat. So <laughs> I'm gonna make that today. I'm gonna get started by washing the potatoes and then just uh, quartering those and um, we'll go from there. While I'm here, I have the potatoes in a bowl here. I have a separate bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my chicken tenders and put those in this bowl before I put the potatoes in the air fryer. I think this will help me, we'll see. Okay, cool. I have my bowl of cubed chicken. I don't know if you trust me or not. I also have my bowl of potatoes. So I have some seasonings. I did refill my salt container, so we have salt, pepper. We're gonna do some paprika. What? Okay, and I'm gonna do some of this garlic, onion, black pepper, and sea salt on both. I'm gonna start with the potatoes because, oh, and olive oil, my bad. We need more oil, so I'm gonna drizzle a little bit. Okay, go wash your hands. I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil on the potatoes to start. Salt, it's so nice to use a salt shaker. Pepper, isn't that like a thing? I don't know, 
pepper. Do some of this stuff. We need to buy more of this because this one and the garlic and herb, black pepper and sea salt, these are freaking bomb. Oh yeah, put a little bit of that on there. And then some of this paprika. I didn't realize we have two things of paprika, so oops. We're gonna be using those same exact seasonings on the chicken, but just give me a second because I'm gonna toss. I just threw a potato on myself. It rolled right down my shirt, how cute. Let's give these a light toss. Toss this potato in the garbage. Um, cool, so I'm tired, I'm so sorry. So these are gonna go in the air fryer. I'm, they're supposed to go at 400 for 20 minutes. I'm gonna do 10 minutes, flip like, toss them around, 10 more minutes. So let's do that. Four, 400. And then time, 20 minutes, start. Okay, Google, set timer for 10 minutes. Sure, doing that. Starting now. This is not a lot of chicken, but I am gonna go ahead and put a little bit of schmoil. There's like not a lot in there on that. Sorry for the air fryer. Same seasonings. We're gonna God, it came out really fast. Salt, pepper. Give me two seconds. Some of that garlic, paprika. I'm also gonna toss this kind of, not aggressively, but a little bit. It does not toss. It is chicken, Kristen. <laughs> we're shimmy it. Oh yeah, we shimmy in it. Um, okay, I'm gonna put these seasonings away. Help her real quick. Hold on one second. I'm gonna get that going as well. I had my big pan this time because I used a noggin. Last time I used a small pan. Um, we're gonna grab some butter. Ooh, we're gonna need to buy more butter. Um, I'm gonna get two tablespoons of butter. Mixed 
mixed in. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I have mozzarella cheese. I'm going to very, well, let me spread this out first. There we go. Very generously and like not scared at all. Oops. There we go, a little bit more. Last time I was super scared with the cheese. I'm not scared anymore. All right, and I'm gonna put this in the oven until the cheese is melted. So I'll start with like two minutes, I don't know. Okay, Google, set timer for one minute. Sure, one minute, and that's starting now. That's gonna go in there. I'm gonna plate it. I will say, this is easily one of my favorite meals. It's so good. I love the garlic parm sauce. I think it's because I just love garlic parm anywhere. But it's just so good. And it's so easy. And I'm glad I remade it. It's not spicy. Do you want me to drink, this, drink the drink? <laughs> she thinks it's spicy. It's just me and Reagan right now. Brian's on his way home. Avery refuses to come downstairs because she's tired. But anyway. I'm pretty happy with this. Super easy. I think it's delicious. And um, I feel like I'm finally comfortable cooking now. I feel like I'm finally confident in what I'm doing. Dinner, 10 out of 10. <sighs> so good. I just took a really intense shower because Regan needed her hair wash too. And I was like, I could do this too. And I think we're going to watch Megan tonight. It's on Peacock. And I'm really interested in watching it. So movie night. Obviously, Regan's going to bed. <laughs> I think that's, that's obvious. But I'm excited. Good Saturday morning. It is dark in here. I'm sorry. It's gloomy and cold outside, which is why I'm starting off my day by wearing my big ol' Austin shirt. Do you want to show me your Go Team shirt? Sure. One, two, three. Ah. <laughs> but today is Soccer Saturday. It is 8:31 right now, and Dortmund just started their game, so we are watching that. Yeah. It's, it's my birthday, my Easter. Your birthday is on Easter this year, yeah. Um, so soccer Saturday, MLS is back today. I am really excited. I woke up super early, did not work out, just put makeup on so I looked like human. And um, yeah, we're watching Dortmund at 8.30 and then I think we're gonna watch the Nashville game at three because that's like the only mid game today. And then everybody plays tonight for the most part. Austin's at 7.30 so we'll probably start somebody, I think some people start at 6.30, probably start one of those games and then pause it to watch the Austin game which I'm very excited about since so today is soccer Saturday. I have a really exciting like array of like appetizers I'm making for dinner and it's gonna be a good day. Are we excited? I'm excited to get my Easter. Okay, she can't stop talking about Easter slash her birthday. But yes, so I'm going to go sit over there now. I just came over here to eat some breakfast, and I'm looking forward to it. Megan was campy and fun and not scary. Um, uh, not my favorite thing we watched, I watched. We watched the doll store. She tried to watch the doll movie, and I was like, get out of here. But yes, I'm going to go watch this now. Oh, they're already fighting, and it's a minute in my favorite thing ever. Also real quick, I did just want to briefly mention that one package of fragrance oils came yesterday and it was just like odds and ends ones, like not a complete set of like a scent that I need. So I have two more packages hopefully coming today and one more coming tomorrow. So once those come and get delivered, I am going to go check the mail immediately so I can at least get started on some wax today. So although it is soccer Saturday, I'm still going to be working. I'm still probably going to film some videos because I definitely have some time between this game and the Nashville game. I still have stuff I want to do, but I just wanted to let you know that I was a little disappointed that only one package came because it was just salted caramel, blackberry jam, butter cookies, and sugar cookie, and that doesn't complete any of the scents that I need. Hello, it is about 1.45. I've been like, I feel like such a lazy bum today. I, after the Dortmund game, I sat on the couch for like an hour because I just didn't want to move. But I just did dishes and two of the fragrance oil packages came i'm waiting on one more so i did just make a round of wednesday and a round of thing which i'm very happy about i think there's only four cents that i cannot do until cross my fingers cross my fingers cross my fingers tomorrow they are supposed to come let me check that tracking just to double check because like you never know let's see hopefully they come tomorrow because it's ups let's see yeah, it's scheduled for tomorrow. It looks like it. Um, 
it's in Texas, so that's good. So I came up here because I think the Nashville game starts in like an hour and a half. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pull stickers for the rest of my plan with me and potentially film that plan with me. So I have that completely done and then maybe fold another load of laundry before the game, we will see. But yes, I just need to be a little bit more productive today. I feel like I've been just like sleepy and I need to wake up. So I'm also gonna change into my new jersey for the game, which I am so stoked about. We got our new jerseys last weekend, I think. And I'm very excited. I'll have to show you guys. They are wild. And I like feel as though I'm getting used to them. There's one part of it I do not like, and I'll explain when I put it on why I don't like it. But everything else, I love it. So really looking forward to the game tonight. I'm super excited. Brian has a pizza dip in the crock pot right now he's working on. I'm gonna be making mozzarella sticks potato skins and asparagus that's all i'm making um and then he has his pizza dip i think we might we could order a pizza too but i feel like that should be good for everybody so i'm really excited for tonight we also have taquitos somewhere so maybe i'll heat those up too very simple dinner very gross dinner but i'm looking forward to it so i'm going to continue to pull stickers and potentially film and i feel like that'll make me feel way more productive <laughs> oh man ah! Wow, this mirror really is needs to be cleaned. Don't mind the mirror. Don't mind the messy background. My children apparently live in my room. So this is the New Jersey. I have a long sleeve on underneath it. My Beetlejuice one because it's cold in our house. This is the 2022-2023 Authentic. It's the New Jersey. It's a bunch of different lines and stuff. I'm starting to grow accustomed to it and I quite like it. The one thing I do not like, this line right here. It gives me, I mean, I had two babies. I'm a woman. I have a uterus, but it gives me a pooch. It gives everyone a pooch. Well, I guess mine's kind of lowered. I've seen some people's words like this, and that makes them look, you know. But, like, it's a lot, but I'm really excited. I have to go start making the appetizers, though. I'm going to start with potato skins because those take the longest, and then I think the mozzarella sticks actually take the short amount of time, shortest amount of time. So I'm going to get, oh, papa song. Potato skins, mozzarella sticks, asparagus. Alrighty, the potato skins have just been pulled out. They are very hot, so I'm not gonna transfer them to a plate for another like five minutes. I air fried the mozzarella sticks. They go in for like five minutes, which was kind of nice. So those have been ready. And then the asparagus is also done. I'm so excited. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. I am up. Just finished filming my melting basket. I am going to pull my wax for not the next melting basket because it's already up here. Which, by the way, I chopped that rainbow loaf. That's like the prettiest bag I've ever seen. But um, I'm going to pull my melting basket for the next melting basket. And then I think I need to refill one more drawer. And I shouldn't have to refill drawers for a while. We're not talking about last night. <laughs> Still a little sad about it. Um, I'm really tired, but I'm gonna get ready for the day after this and I think we have to go to the mall to get Avery new shoes well, we, I know we have to go to the mall to get Avery new shoes But I think we're gonna go to the mall just so we're in and out and it's like, I don't know. I just would rather go there. So I Haven't been to a mall in a while. So let's pull some wax shall we I'm like really tired I'm annoyed because these past two days I've been able to sleep in and my body has just woken me up at seven both days Hate that for me um, this drawer is very full, so let's go ahead and do, these are stacked three deep, so we'll do this one. I actually just tried to melt chocolate covered cherries from Black Magic Melts in the shot cup, and I completely didn't come upstairs and smell it, so I need to give that an actual try. And then this one's three deep as well, so this is pumpkin zucchini bread. I'm excited for those. That drawer is still very full. This drawer is going to need to get filled. I have a Sylvie from... Nerdy Wax, a small size, and then from, I think this might be my last Westbury Candle Co. This is Afterlife, which is bourbon and butterscotch. That drawer needs to be filled, which is exciting. This drawer is very full. Um, let's see. Let's do this one. Birdies, pumpkin spice latte, sugared maple, and a hint of brown sugar. This is a nose. <laughs> and then we'll do, um, maybe this one. That Smell Good Shop's. I think I've melted this before. Waffle latte. I feel like I have. That sounds amazing. That drawer is also cool. Then we're in our fantasy wax drawer. This one's three deep. 
pretzel and apple butterscotch cake and then i can just choose another one i kind of want to do this one the serious black blueberry lemon donuts these are so cute we'll pause pause and then this drawer is full too let's see Let's do this one, Broadway's Banana Boat Song. Ooh, this sounds really good. Banana bread, cinnamon buns, pistachio pudding cake, and Nana's Kitchen. My camera's dying, so I'll get through this quite quickly. And then I'll do this Birdie's Pretzel, which is strawberry pound cake pretzel and sugar cookie. That sounds really good, too. That's where I actually might need to get filled here within the next few weeks. And then my big old L3 drawer, which I just started. And it looks like we have a loaf already of caramel fudge cake zucchini bread sugar cookie royale that's okay and then over here we have a chunk carry blueberry cheesecake yeah that sounds really good like a blueberry cheesecake it's actually quite a big chunk excited for that so and then we need to go into my hannah stuff actually let me change the battery real quick because it's freaking me out uh i feel like the position might have changed but whatever so from the hannah box I just grabbed it and didn't even like feel. Another birdies. This is the um, green. Is this an apple? I think this was the green pepper. Yeah. You can read my bell. Green candy apple with hints of blonde moment and cotton candy. Lots of birdies. Oh, let me grab my freebie before I forget. I'm again not feeling around at all. There we go. Cake by the ocean with rose girls. And then from the Andrea bins. I have a lot going on, but also I just want to melt something. You know? I just want to melt something. Hmm. Do I continue with my birdies theme that I've got going? Or, yeah, I kind of want to continue with my birdies theme and go with this coffee makes me poop. <laughs> and then, last this one no let's do a chunk or something what's this let's do this one l3's buttercream fresh picked strawberries jelly donut and sugar cookie okay cool so i'm actually really quite excited for this next basket it sounds amazing also i'm sorry if i sound like this if i don't sound excited it's because i'm very tired it's just how it's been these past couple of days this bin's like eh, empty, but it feels like it Okay, so this is a pretty good basket, but now we need to fill up those drawers. So I'm just going to slide them all to the side. I feel like whenever I have a loaf in a basket, I get nervous. This chunk is so interesting. I feel like they poured that into one of those big, like, um, like tins, and then they just cut it, obviously. But, like, it's just so cool. Anyway, um, anyway, let's fill up this you can't really see um eh, just trust me i'm pulling everything forward <laughs> so this looks like a lot of birdies with some nerdy wax this big old jelly glazed zucchini from eva's that i have not gotten to yet um this is a sample i think yeah i'm putting this in the sample bin and then this drawer is kind of gross and i'm not sure why like i don't know if i put something in here i don't know there's a lot of shot cups right here nerdy wax there's some fantasy in here isn't there what is this is this fantasy no oh no it's wet and wax i was like where is the label for that it's right there okay i'm gonna oh my gosh these little ones pull everything forward there's actually quite a bit back here. Oh, I forgot that I can do that. This drawer is actually kind of a hot mess. I'm not going to lie. So, <laughs> hold on. Let's see what we can do. So, let's just pull all that forward. Some rose girls in here. And then we'll put this right. Sure. Then I have another small, like, Rose Girls one. Maybe I'll put both of the... Eh, no, they can stay here. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to move this box really quick. Try not to show my eyes. Sorry. Okay, we're good. 
and then into my bin where it looks like I have one big old birdies. So I'll put that over here. And then we're into black, or not black magic belts, I'm so sorry. Bewitching Wax Co., which I'm excited about. So I think I can do three of these. Shoot, I might even be able to do four. Oh yeah, I can do four deep on those. So that's kind of cool. I can clear out this bin a lot faster. Okay, four, two. Yeah, I'm like actually clearing out this bin a lot. That's awesome. Let's do, let's just put them all right here. And then I need just more bewitching wax, just like shapes. So I'll put these in. I think that's good. Yep. Well, there's only one be bewitching wax left, so let me just like shove it in here. Nice. So that drawer, you can't really see. It's filled now. So this is all pulled forward. It looks like a lot, but like as I use things, the layers clear. But in the back there is bewitching wax. And they're four deep, which is cool. So there's that. Um, sorry, I feel like I'm not doing great today. I'm just so tired. This actually looks so good. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to have to fill another drawer again. Maybe this one might be one of the next ones. Well, no, Fantasy Wax might be the next. Or no, this one. This one has a lot of big stuff in it. I don't know. We'll see. But I won't have to fill drawers for a while. So that's kind of exciting. Here's what my overboard bin looks like. I filled it up with you guys last week. But yeah, it's half empty again, which is exciting. So yeah, that's my wax. I'm going to go put on some makeup now and um, kind of see what everybody else is doing. And see if they want to start maybe moving around so we can get the mall done and over with so I can come home and make wax. Um, hopefully my other order comes today. It says it's out for delivery by the USPS, but y'all it's Sunday. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. We will see. Um, but other than that, I'm just kind of going to chill today. I think I'm going to probably prep the little mermaid collection with like, I think I already know what I'm doing for Easter, but I have to prep little mermaid and then Just kind of work on videos maybe work on editing a vlog and i have to get pictures of the wednesday scents and i think that's kind of it cheeseburger say cheeseburger reagan cheeseburger. Um, friends. <laughs> what can we get started for you hello can i get a grande iced vanilla latte please that was a grande yes what else for you then i'm gonna do a grande caramel ribbon crunch with no uh whipped cream a grande caramel you guys are the same size do you like those shoes? Yep. At Michael's, the girls picked out some ceramics to paint. Reagan, what did you pick out, baby? Um, or no, no. What? What is, what is this? This is butterfly. Butterfly. Avery, what did you pick out, baby? I got a wolf. A wolf. That looks like a cat, hun. I sure have. She's one. working on the ears right now, huh? Yeah, I already got the ears. They're very cute. I'm, I'm doing the. The flower like that. Oh, okay. So we went out initially to get shoes for Avery, but as you guys can see, we stopped at Michael's because we were waiting. Michael's was right there. And I saw these two Easter molds, and I was like, they're so cute. There's a bunch of Easter molds. So these ones are chicks. I asked the girls, I was like, which one do you want? And they both, or like, which one should mommy do? And they both picked a different one. So I was like, okay, I'll just buy them out. The chicks. And the bunnies. These are so cute. I'm so excited to have these. We have Avery's shoes, which I'll show you in a second. And then we also stopped at Bath and Body Works to get some hand sanitizer, which one of them is in the car with right now. That's like the main reason. Oh, Avery, we have to put this on your book bag. We got one for Avery with a little gummy bear holder. Do you like your gummy bear, sis? Yeah. And then she got, she picked Wildberry Lemonade. We have a Market Peach in the car because that's literally our favorite. And then we got an additional Market Peach. They were five for eight bucks. And then pink pineapple and mango papaya. And then I'll show you your shoes. Oh my God. Oh, these girl grows at like the fastest rate imaginable. So these are Adidas Forta Run 2.0s. Maybe. Her old shoes are in there. Her old shoes have a hole in them. 
That's what they look like. Avery, you picked out your shoes. You like them? Yeah. Super cute. Look how big these are. I feel like I could fit into these. I mean, I can't. Actually, hold on. Could I? Bro. No way. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. I was like, there's no way. Super cute. So that's the main reason we went out. But my fragrance oils were delivered while I was out. So I'm going to open those up and I'm going to get back to work. Alrighty. So we are in my office. I rendered out my plan with me while we were gone so I can upload that and then I'm gonna edit my melting basket and then that should be um, all the videos I have I can edit except for my vlog for the week to go up I'm gonna film new releases next week or this upcoming week probably on Thursday um, that's like my normal I guess so I'll do that but I was trying to figure out do I want to start editing the vlog because here's my dilemma. If I start editing the vlog now, I have to finish it before I can get the new releases edited. So that means I have to finish it Thursday. So I'm like, mm. Mm. you know what I'm saying? So we'll see, I'm, I'm, there's a lot of clips. Probably not. I actually think what I do wanna do is just finish filling out my 2022 planner because that needs to get done and it takes a little bit of time so i think that's what i might do right now actually because like i said i just finished pouring a little bit ago i just folded some laundry so um i have like an hour for those to cool and then i can go down so maybe yeah maybe i'll fill out my planner i do want to i have not read these past couple of nights i was gonna read um friday night but we watched megan and then I was gonna read last night, and but I was too sad, so I just did it. But I only have two husbands left to read, so I think I'm gonna read them today, like midday. So maybe I'll finish filling out my planner, go read a little, get the pictures. I already ordered groceries and everything, and we have The Last of Us tonight, so I'm gonna watch that too. But yes, so I don't think I'm gonna edit the vlog, but maybe I should start working on it like Thursday night. Ooh, but then that means I have to edit it all day Friday. You know what? It's fine. We'll figure it out. It's it's fine. It's fine. I can edit it throughout the week though. Nah, I'd rather fill out my planner. I'll leave that for a later Kirsten problem because worst case I just upload it on a Sunday. You know what I mean? Like I'm not dedicated to days for vlogs. I just want to upload it on like a weekend. But anyway, I'm going to get this plan with me up and then I'm just going to fill out some spreads and uh, chill for a little bit. I actually need to hurry. Um, I need to get pictures of all of these melts. They're really easy to take pictures of because they are the chunk bags, which, here I'll fix you, which are incredibly easy to get pictures of. I'm just upset because, a little upset, because I like, I prefer to take pictures of the melts when it's daylight out because I feel as though there's not that harsh of a shadow. These actually aren't too terrible. But yeah, I'm a little upset by that. But that is okay. I have one downstairs that is still cooling. So unfortunately, I will not be able to get a picture of that until tomorrow. Um, but again, A-okay with me. Let's switch these. Um, A-okay with me. I'll get that picture tomorrow. But... After this, I am basically going to be taking a shower and we're going to watch The Last of Us. I got to get the kiddos in bed. I didn't line these up. Oh no, they're supposed to be lined up like this. I'm so confused. Anyway, sorry. I feel like I've lost all train of thought today. But 
that's probably going to be it for this vlog because like I said, all I'm doing the rest of tonight, showering and watching The Last of Us and I haven't been able to read and I want to finish my book. So I think I am just going to stay up and read the last hundred pages of it because I really want to finish it. Oh my God, this scent reminds me so much of Domi. I don't know if she's watching this video for two reasons. One, because it's like all bready and two, because this literally looks like Columbus Crew. I did not intend for that to happen. But anyway... So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you guys next weekend.